In this session, we're going to take a look at setting up our clip art for the Open T-Shirt system. This is a fairly complicated process, and if you don't know how to use Flash or don't have Flash, you may want to consider outsourcing having some of your art set up for your system if you're going to be setting up some custom art. We had a couple of different things we wanted to deal with or address when we were setting up the art because we wanted to make the use of the clip art easy to end users. To go ahead and get started here, I'm just going to add a piece of clip art and we'll take a look at this. And I'll use a simple track tail here and I'll just click and bring that into my design. And you'll notice that by default I come in with a two color black and white copy of the design. I also have the option for a one color. I can invert that and I also have the option for a full color and I can change colors on my graphics based on how I want them to look. If I want to go with a maroon there and then say where I've got my white, I want a yellow. I could set that up if those were my school colors. Now when we're setting this art up, there's a couple of things we need to be aware of. And I've got a very simple vector logo set up here in CorelDRAW X6. First thing we want to be aware of is we really want our vector objects to be butted up against each other. We don't want them overlapping. I have approximately three vector objects here, as I can see here in the status bar. Now I want to go ahead and export this. First I'm going to export a JPEG which is going to be my image file for this logo and then I'm going to export an SWF or a flash file that I'll be able to set up in Adobe Flash. So I'll go ahead and hit Control E and the first thing I'm going to do is just export a JPEG and I'll call this Track Tail. Actually I'll call it Track Tail 1 and I'll go ahead and export. And I'm going to bring this down, I'll look at the transformations here, I'm going to go up 50%, you don't really need a really big icon for your clip art images and that'll be good right there and I'll select OK. So now I've exported an image. The next thing I want to do is actually export an EPS and that's going to be one of my vector files when I upload the artwork. So I'll come here to EPS and I'll call this track tail one also. One dot EPS and I'll go ahead and export that and I'll need that file also and then finally I'm going to go ahead and hit control E and I'm going to export as an SWF or a flash file right here Adobe Flash and I'll call this track tail one also that way I'll be able to recognize the source by the name for all the different file versions go ahead and select OK and then finally I'm actually just going to go ahead and save a copy of this as a Corel file so I'll go file save as and I'm in my clip art folder and I'll call this track tail one and that'll be my Corel draw file I want to hit one not s track tail one save okay now I've saved my file as a Corel file an EPS file an SWF file and an image file so that I can set everything up in the open t-shirt system after I set up my art. The next step for me is I'm going to go to Adobe Flash. I'm going to create a new document. I'm going to go File. I'm going to go Import. Import to Stage. I'm going to take my Track Tail 1 right here. Oh, excuse me, I want this SWF, not the image right there. Because that's my SWF file. And I'll go ahead and bring that into my workspace in Adobe Flash. I'm going to go ahead and lasso everything here and then I'm going to go to Modify and I'm going to go to transform and I'm going to go to scale and I'm just going to bring this down a little bit in size so it fits nicely in my workspace. Now I have three objects here and what I'm going to need to do is actually what I've got to do is on layer one I've got to make my white base or my white background for my graphic. And we have to do that because of some of the things that we'll be dealing with we might have some transparency or shading on graphics. and We always want layer one as our white. So what am I going to do? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and select everything. I'm just going to hit Control C, and then I'm going to come up here to modify, and I'm going to select Break Apart, and then I'm going to go to my color palette, and I'm going to fill this entirely with white. So that's my white base on layer one. You can't see it, but it's there. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and select Insert Layer, and I'm going to go Edit paste in place on layer 2. Now in layer 2 I'm going to want my black or the color that I'm going to use for black. That'll probably be this blue. That being the case I probably want to select the white which is right here and I'll just hit control X 
to cut that and I'll go here and I'll go insert layer and I'll select edit paste in place now there's my white and I'm going to go ahead and take this black that I have on the outside here back on layer one no that's layer two excuse me I want to go where I pasted the full image in take this black hit control X you can see that that disappeared I'll come up here and I'll click on insert layer and then I'll hit edit paste in place so now I've set up all of my layers for my graphic the next thing I have to do is convert all of my objects on my layers to symbols so I'll go to modify convert to symbol and I want this to be a movie clip and I'll select OK do the same thing on layer 3 modify convert to symbol movie clip select OK layer 2 same thing modify convert to symbol movie clip select OK finally layer 1 modify convert to symbol movie clip select OK now I want to save this I'm going to file save as I'm in my clip art I'm going to call this track tail 1 and that's going to be my flash file and I'll save that and then I have to go to file and select publish and that's going to create my track 1 SWF file that I'll be able to add to open t-shirts and it's all been set up correctly with the correct symbols on the correct layers next step for me is quite simply to go to my open t-shirts administrator to go here to clip arts to click on add new clip art I'll give this a name I'll just call it new track tail and I could give it a better name I want to give it some tags which will be the keywords which will be track track and field and tail next thing I want to do is go to categories I want to come in here to my categories and I want to add this to my sports and track category so I want to go to sports tails and I'll go track and field and I'll come down here and select track and field also so it will appear in my correct clip art categories the next thing I want to do is go to appearance now the first thing I'm going to do here is go to upload SWF file and I've got track tail one here I'm going to select that and select save and that will be uploaded into my system now I can see what I've got is a black image here but what I want to do is change this I'm going to take this layer one and make that white I'm going to take this layer two we'll leave that as a black I'll change this layer three and you can see these are layers coming right from my illustrator to a blue and I might change this layer four to say a gray now you can see what we've got there we've just set up our layers just as we were working on them in flash and setting up our colors now in our open t-shirts admin the next thing I want to do is upload my image come here I've got my track tail one select save that's loaded I want to load my Corel vector file or my EPS either way the second file is optional I'm going to take the Corel file here and click on save that's been uploaded I'll come here to my optional second file which will be my EPS for illustrator users or other versions of graphic applications that might want to use an EPS file and I'll go ahead and save that now I've set up everything for my clip art here in the open t-shirts design system I'm going to go ahead and click on save and I'll get success you have modified clip arts now if I go back to my design system and I go to add clip art and I go to track and field I should be able to see this but I'm going to have to reload my design system so I'll go ahead and reload that leave this page and I'll go back to add clip art I'll come down here to let's say track and field in my sports categories and I can see that I don't have this piece of clip art here so I must have done something wrong when I set this up is this enabled yes it's enabled it's right there edit what's the name of this one this one called new track tail maybe it's there I just don't see it. it's probably duplicated track and field track and field ah here it is new track tail so there it is okay I got a little confused there 
go ahead and click on that, bring that into my workspace, and I can resize that. As you can see right there, and there's my black and white version. Remember how I set everything up with the black and white? Here's my one color, and I can invert that to get a very different look, and here is my full color with all of the different colors, as you can see there. So, a little bit of trickiness in setting these up, but if you have Adobe Flash and want to go through the steps, you can do that. And as I said, you'll want to be aware of some of the different settings and the way you set up using your Adobe Flash and coming out as layers set up as movie clips. We'll go ahead and wrap here and we'll continue in our next session.